You are entering a Maple Story 8 bit podcast zone. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Activate. So, I have a boner for dual blades. How about you guys? Hmm. I have two boners for dual blades. Hmm. <laughs> Get it? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, everybody, welcome to Maple Story 8-Bit Podcast, episode number 5. Uh, my anchor line, they don't know we're doing it, I just kind of sprung it on them right now. Anyways, uh, we'll begin with our introductions. I am Jesse, uh, formerly Time to Choose. I'm now Dracura, level 90, Blade Lord, representing in 8-Bit on the world Cradia. Um, I am Mike, I was to Infinity... And now I am Musashi, level 95 Blade Lord, in the guild 32-bit, and in Kredia. My name is Landon. Uh, Mass used to be Mass Gorge, now Mass Creed, a uh, Blade Lord in Kredia in the guild 16-bit. Very nice. All blade lords all around the table. That's pretty badass. Um, this podcast, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Um, I wanted it to be primarily our dual blade reviews, and then uh, we can throw in some other stuff as we uh, progress. So, who wanted to start with their uh, review of the dual blades so far? Um, I know, you can go. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that we all, uh, have the same thoughts about dual blades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, really what was expected was, came true, like, the SP build would be confusing, such like that. SP rolls over, all that, that stuff. So, I don't know. Everything that we expected kind of came true to me. Yeah, I agree. Like, uh, the SP builds were confusing at first, but I kind of uh, started with the one you posted on the website, which, by the way, is com. for those of you listening elsewhere. Um, I just followed that and then eventually just kind of adapted my own skill build to what I thought I would need. Yeah. Pretty much same there. Well, I first went off of that, and then I went off of things you told me. Yeah, um... So, I don't know what kind of format this review should be in, but I will start with, uh... My experience from level one. Q chiming music. I can't do chime music, but anyways, you get the picture. Level 1, I entered the Maple World as a no- beginner. And it's uh, pretty much the same as every other explorer. Um, you have to choose Dual Blade when you create a new character. And if you have a character level 30 already on your account, you have the option of making a level 30 Dual Blader, which is uh, lazy and cheap. And yeah, and uh, apparently you also lose an entire SP from that. And then uh, the thing I found confusing was uh, at level 10 you're supposed to become a, a rogue, and I was kind of confused at first because I uh, thought I would be dual blade right away. But it's kind of like you become a rogue, and then they intercept your job, and then you like work for the dual blades, which is an organization against the Dark Lord, I guess. And then. Yeah, how about, what was it like for you guys when you entered the Maple World? Um, at first, you know, I was a beginner. Same thing, such as that. Um, and then, really just same experience as you did. How about you, Landon? 
Um, but yeah, I started at level one, and one to twenty or one to ten was easy, and then ten to twenty kind of sucked ass for me because it was just like the bandit skills. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why aren't I a dual blade yet? And then I got dual blade, and I was like, oh yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, once you become a dual blade, you gain access to the secret garden, which, by the way, has the free market, which only dual blades can get at, I guess. Hey, landing, grats. New woot. Congrats. Thank you. So yeah, level 20, you gain triple stab. Which is insanely overpowered, which is awesome. Yeah, pretty much dual blades are overpowered completely. <laughs> like, uh. Never mind. Uh, what were you gonna say? Nothing. I just forgot. <laughs> I don't. I don't really think they're overpowered for what they are. I mean, like, you have two. You yeah. wield two fucking weapons, so obviously your skills are going to be doubled, basically, and then you get mirror image, and then it's doubled again. I mean, what were people expecting? Damage from one weapon. Yeah, that's true. The triple stab attacks three enemies three times or two times. Or three times. Three enemies, three times. Yeah. So that's pretty good for a level 20 skill, I think. Yeah, well, you should see mechanics. They have fucking flame for it, and it's insane. So after level 20, you continue your job roaming around Kearney City, doing a lot of dual blade quests, kind of like errands. You roam around Kearney City, killing mushrooms, killing slimes, blah blah blah. And then you become level 30, and you get your second plus job, which is the Blade Acolyte. And you get Endure, self Haze, Fatal Blow, and Slash Storm. And, uh... I mean, all three of those are pretty badass. self Haze is nice. Fatal Blow has a lot of attacks. Uh, six, eight attacks. And the Slash Storm has your first invincibility frame, which is really good for uh, staying alive. Any comments on the second plus job? No, but I like the idea of the uh, second plus jobs. Kind of kept it easier to train because it's not 30 levels or 50 levels or whatever it is. Uh to wait for new skills. Yeah, you have a goal a little bit closer to uh, what you can actually accomplish. Yeah. Anything you want to add, Lennon? Pretty much the same thing as Mike. It's like way less boring when you can just add a bunch of SP to a skill in the middle of your main jobs. It just makes it, keeps it fresh. And then, uh, okay, after you get second plus job, you're going around fucking shit up with Slash Storm and, uh, Fatal Blow, which I really didn't use that much until now. And, uh, then you reach level 55 and you get your third job, which is the Path of the Blade Specialist. And you get Tornado Spin, Flash Bang, and Flash Jump. And I I got a point of flash jump as soon as I could and it increased my training speed like tenfold just jumping around killing stuff and uh... I put one into flash bang just to fuck around with it, it's fun and uh... yeah you don't really get that many skills but they're good skills yeah, yeah. I love flash jump like shit I could never get up the fucking I don't know what to call it, but I never ever wanted to make a fucking Night Lord 
the only skill I admired from them was flash jump, and now I got it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, that's probably the only skill that I like wanted from those shitty night lords. No offense to any hermits or night lords in the guild. Vanessa. <laughs> Hmm. And then uh, after you're done playing around with flash jump, you hit level 70, and you get your third plus job, which is Blade Lord. And you get if you sit if you did the build that a lot of people are doing, you saved your SP, and right away you'll get max Bloody Storm and max Flying Assaulter if you buy the cash shop books. And uh, Flying Assaulter is just ridiculously cool. Bloody Storm adds more damage and it is still has those invincibility frames. And you also get Yeah. Yeah. You also get the bad start. It, it's kinda like a Oh my bad. Uh let me just list them off first. You get advanced dark side, mirror image, owl spirit, and upper stab. Uh go ahead Mike. I was just gonna say this, uh Bloody Storm is uh like Landon told me before is kind of like an overswing for Aaron's and how it just is pretty much a better version of Slash Storm. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. But and it has a mastery level of ten, which is uh I thought it was gonna be higher than that, but that's okay with me. Me too. Yeah, but if you think about it, it's Slash Storm and Bloody Storm together, so it technically 20 mastery, I guess, right? Yeah, it would be 30 overall. And then, uh, that's all we've gotten so far. And, uh, it's pretty fast training. If you like combining, uh, Flying Salter and Bloody Storm, by the way. I shot a bow wants us to say that we love boobies. I love boobies. <laughs> no cookies. <laughs> no cookies. I guess Mike doesn't like boobies. We all know what that means. Nope. I'm straight up gay. Dude, I wish I was straight up gay. <laughs> Oh, just something I want to say for everybody that's listening and for the record so that people stop asking. You do not absolutely have to buy all the Dublin Mastery books in Cash Up. Nexon posted that on their Facebook. I don't know why nobody saw it. But you don't have to do it. They draw for monsters. The only thing you get from Cash Up skill books are one extra SP. But there's like you end up getting a total of like 5 extra SP which is pretty good. I mean, it's not a huge difference but, you know, yeah. <laughs> Hell, it's SP. I could yeah. use plenty of that. Yeah, true. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of where we trained. At level 28 I went to Roids. I know. And uh, it was slow at first, a couple misses, and uh, but it eventually picked up and it became faster and faster and then once I got 55 I went to Wind Raiders and then once I got to 70 I went to Blue Kent's and from 70 onwards I've been at Galloparas. One thing I noticed about the damage is that uh, you can definitely tell which one is your blade because it has such less weapon attack so you'll see like 2,000, 3,000, and then you'll see one that's like 1,000. So you can definitely tell. Kind of throws your damage off balance. Yeah, but in hell, it's damage. <laughs> Anything helps. I think uh, the way, like, uh, triple stab and fatal blow look when you're attacking it like alternates the different like blade and dagger attack and makes like a weird kind of crisscross and it looks cool I think hmm. 
Yeah. I've seen a bunch of people complaining that it's just a bunch of skills mashed together. And if you think about it, sure, the animations are mashed together. But the playing style is a lot different even from a Chief Bandit. I think this is like the first actual unique character that Nexon's made for a long time. The first one being Pirate. I think... Yeah. Why would Pirate... Mm. We got Somersault Kick and Transform. Stuff like that. And guns, yeah. And guns. I mean, Somersault and Kick was like the first skill that actually moved your character off of the ground and did a little like flippy thing. As far as I know. I haven't played them all though. Yeah, anybody that's curious about the f uh, play style of Dublade for any reason, it's like, I don't know how exactly to describe it, but I would say like, it's just constant movement. You're never like stopped in one spot. You're always moving left or right. Constant damage. Yeah, and uh, me and Mike are talking about this. If you're leeching your way to like level 120 dual blade, you will be sorely disappointed because you won't know how to play it at all. Because you gotta get all the timing right, and know when to jump, and all that stuff. Oh yeah, like first time, when I got to like level 70, and I'm trying to train, I just get spammed with the uh, thing saying, oh, you're not high enough to use skill. You just bug me yeah, so I'm much. getting that right now. So you'd like half, yeah, you just have to get good with it, and it's actually, like, legit skill, not just spamming a button all the time. You have to, like, time it just right if you want to be efficient with, like, good control. Yeah, you have to be, like, right at the peak of your jump for it to work. And then, uh, I just recently maxed Tornado Spin, which you can use in, in conjunction with uh, Flying Assaulter, and it's a really good pinning skill. It's, uh, like Flying Assaulter already pushes them, and then if you do Tornado Spin, you'll push them back even more. I've seen videos of people using it in Temple of Time, and it's actually, looks like it's really important for training. Yeah, but I'm not sure about my other skills. I have 23 SP right now. I do not know what to max. Yeah. Uh, do upper stab, I guess. What are you gonna maxing next, Lennon? Uh, mirror image, I believe. Noise. Am I wrong about that? Am I doing it wrong? Was I wrong to max endure? No. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you did not do that. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> well, who do you think I'm at? I would have. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna laugh in the face of anybody who actually put any puts to endure. I put five on. Is that wrong? <laughs> yeah, you need five to unlock Chains of Hell. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you fucking. So. Um, I think that's all I can say about Dual Blades. I mean, I really like their, uh, <laughs> their playing style. I like the damage, even though it's like 1k, it's, it doesn't look impressive, but <laughs> you have to remember, especially with Fatal Blow, is that it's hitting a bunch of times, and it's a very fast class. So, let's move on to some MapleStory updates. Let's try and... Trying to move this podcast along so no one's tired for the next one. This one's kind of late. Um, so, 
what can we start with? Dual blade hair was introduced. Uh, what else was added? Let's talk. Let's talk about how we got potential and all that shit so quickly. Yeah, well, we did get it pretty quick. Yeah, also peanut machine, you know what? Yeah, that just came out, uh, this sense. Day, actually. I want to, uh, explain how potential scrolls work. So, it's kind of confusing. There's potential scrolls, there's weapon enhancement scrolls, which are two different things. Potential scrolls come in 70% and 90%, and if they fail, they have a 100% chance of failing, which is pretty brutal. And those are the ones... Of breaking. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if it fails, your equipment is fucking fucked. <laughs> Basically. Um, and those are the ones that add the, the hidden potential to things that don't have it already, like your 55 dex bathrobe and stuff like that. Um, and then there's equipment enhancement scrolls. Uh which don't come in a percentage, it's just a scroll. And you can only use it on things that have zero slots. And uh, if the first one is 90% chance of passing, and then the second one you use will be 80% chance, and the third one will be 70, fourth one will be 60, and so on and so forth. And it has a chance of, it will always add onto the stats, it will never decrease it, so it will always add something. So it's kind of like a positive chaos. However, same as the potential scrolls, if it fails, your item will break, and then you'll be fucking crying all day. So yeah, how uh, how soon did KMS get potential scrolls anyways? I believe they got potential shit and set items um, like a month, or like, a patch after Dual Blades. So, pretty much like the same as us. We're following, kind of following a trend. Well, no, we got ours with the same patch oh, yeah. as Dual Blade. It's just that, thanks on has been fucking up all their stuff. My times are kind of off. All the server maintenance and stuff. Speaking of which, they did one today, and Windia was extended because of, I don't know if you guys knew this, know this but it's because of all the dupes, dupe, duplicating of godly items and such that's been going on. So they've taken care of that, and some people actually got rolled back. Sucks for them, but Windia sucks anyways. Crazy for life. That was actually my first server I played on. Poor bastard. Indeed. Well, Crady wasn't even out back, back then. <laughs> Crady is the shiznit for sure. I don't know, it's kinda like. like so, why the fuck do we play Cradio, anyways? Uh, what brought you to Cradio? <laughs> I seriously don't know. I don't even remember, man. All I know is that it's like the least populated, we're well, one of the least populated servers. However, it has the most assholes, I think. And the weakest. Yeah. Soon, 8-Bit will take over Cradia, and we will show the world that Mablers can be nice. <laughs> You're a dick yourself, though. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm talking about Bigfoot and Horntails. Like, people will be actually be able to do them instead of worrying about getting DC'd. We will have a team of dedicated robots that DC DC's. I wish. <laughs> you might need to put a disclaimer after that. <laughs> disclaimer. 8-bit does not endorse disconnecting. Nor do we even know how to, but don't tell regulate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really, they sucks in the nut. Yeah, they do suck balls. Uh, anything you guys want to talk about? 
Not really. Oh, I know. Also, uh, Chaos Horntail and Chaos Zakam we talked about last podcast, I think, anyways. But we got them in the same patch as Dublin as well, and those came, like, after potential scrolls for KMS. So we got, like, a month of patches all in one patch. So, that's pretty awesome. Where do you do those quests, anyway? Like, it's just, uh, how do you sign up for them? You just do the regular pre-quests. And you, I think Zakim is like channel 12. It's the Chaos Zakim, and you just join it like normal. Huh, that's weird. What about Horntail? Just a different channel as well? Yeah, I think so. Guys, my chest is going to explode. I'm yeah. going to die live on the podcast. Did you have too much caffeine today or something? <laughs> Probably. I think Stop they should have podcast. made new yeah. content. Like a new town for the bosses. That'd be sick. Like it, like an enhanced version of Leaf Free or something like that. Oh, that'd be pimp. That'd be cool. Well, bounce patch is enhanced, man. That enhances everything. No, I mean like... I mean, like a completely new, another leaf free. So then that's where they put Chaos Horntail. Oh, I see. I remember when leaf free first came out, I was like, a training place for 120 plus? No way. Not even yeah. like 70 plus. It's below 100, that's for damn sure. Okay, maybe not that low, but. Yeah, back then it was like insane. <laughs> Another person asked us about being brothers. <laughs> yeah. Damn, man. That's like the fifth one. In a day. That's okay. Because we're fucking pro. Why don't you answer them? Yeah, we do. Mm hmm. on the podcast. Me, Jesse, and Mike are all blood brothers. Yeah, we all cut ourselves into a, a, nigga. a cup. And then we drank <laughs> it. <laughs> and baked it into a cake. <laughs> so fucking weird. <laughs> I gave the most blood though, because I'm fucking hardcore. I gave blood for my penis. You can't give blood, remember? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I went to donate blood one time. Just... <laughs> yeah, and with Corey, right? It, you'll see it if you watch our movie at yeah. howtobeterrorist.com. And uh, I can donate because I had too high of a blood pressure. And I, my blood would probably just shoot out of my body. Fucking assholes. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking high blood pressure. <laughs> what? It's kind of fucking stressed all the time, man. From what? From you and Landon. Why? Just because I level up faster than you, you get pissed off at me? <laughs> no, it's because every day I come out of Ventrilo and you're always talking about dicks and cocks and your ass. It just stresses me out, man. I thought that'd be a stress relief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking today. Well, Landon's on my side. Yeah, whatever. Do you guys think bestiality's wrong? <laughs> yeah. What if it's like with a gorilla? <laughs> it's kind of like humanish. I was actually thinking about that the other day. <laughs> Oh, well, speaking of bestiality, we're going to add Ali to the podcast here. Alright, so just give me a second. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we just laughed. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody, uh, Ali is joining us on the podcast. He shall introduce himself now. 
Hello, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, my name is Kradia Lith in the game. Uh, in real life, it's Ali. Um, I'm level 122. Bowmaster. Uh, I'm, I'm an 8 bit and I am the server Kradia. Excellent. Or now known as Kahadia. Yeah, now it's Kahadia. Good point. Fail. Pretty sure that's like direct, like, copy paste from KMST or whatever. Yeah, my name makes no sense now. Yeah, it should be Kadia Lift. It's okay, because I'm going to make it a mechanic. Ah, uh, yes. We haven't talked about that yet, but we shall in a moment. Um, mm -hmm. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Ali, do you think bestiality is Bestiality. Wrong? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just, you know what you said? His jaw just dropped. About... <laughs> You know what you said about, like, an ape? You know how they can use sticks to get food out, like, anthills and stuff? Yes. What if you just replace yeah. the stick with a dildo? Dude, I meant to put a bunch of anthills. An anthill, <laughs> anthill with your asshole. Yeah! I think you just invented the first... <laughs> what did you guys think of? <laughs> well, we were just asking if bestiality was wrong. Okay. I think the general consensus is, yes, it is wrong. Except with an ape. Do you guys like sit there all day thinking of that kind of stuff? No, I just kind of. I thought about it today. I do. Yeah, <laughs> Mike does. That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> I'm weird like that. Chicks dig it. Yeah, it's not like if women do bestiality. It's not like they get pregnant. Or do they? Oh my god, that's how werewolves are born. The first werewolf. Oh, never mind. I'm gay. <laughs> oh, you forgot? Oh shit, yeah, I'm gay, I forgot. Forgot for a second. <laughs> um, well, aside from bestiality and gay and werewolves, uh, we were talking about potential scrolls. I think we covered that and how they work. And, uh, um, what do you think their effect on the economy is going to be? Because I know there is a lot of uh, people blowing up their godly items, so those are going to disappear. And I think... Like me. Yeah, I think godly items are going to go down in price because apparently 90% chance to pass is not enough. Um, well, me as a merchant, uh, yeah, prices have been going down like crazy. Not at all things. Glove, um, gloves are still the same. Glove for tax girls and everything. Um, still strong, but... Yeah, I kind of failed my cave. It was like three a pack. And then I, I passed one, and I was like, hmm, I'll try again. But the first one I passed was like int. And I was like, uh. So I didn't need int on an attack cave. And, um, yeah, the second scroll failed. And then I couldn't use my engar. <laughs> so I'm kind of just sitting here merchanting right now. I can use my other cave, but I just don't feel like grinding. Yeah, we. I think we'll continue to see a trend of prices dropping, and uh, it's only been like a yeah. week since the patch. I think by the end of the month, things are going to be drastically different. And then two months come, it's going to balance itself out, and it's going to become more like uh, KMS. I think. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. When KMS hit, like all the prices were crazy, and then it kind of stabilized, and like godly items are three, four hundred mil. So I think so, yeah. godly yourself. items are going to drop a lot and say you have if you have one mil it's one mil is going to be worth quite a bit instead of one mil being nothing today it's going to be worth quite a bit soon that's good because i'm getting so keep broke. your money broke that nigga mm. this guy was this a recession of maple story or something yeah this yes. is the past And then we'll see the boom, and then everyone's gonna be like, "Yay, I'm rich!" And then something's gonna happen, and then it's gonna bust. All because of the potential system. Yes, but you know it opens up opportunities for uh, lower-level people who can't or don't know how to scroll these godly things. Like, yeah. Uh, well, while we're talking about equipment, let's throw down the uh, equipment ego 
for this podcast right now. And I'll start with one thing. I just have one, which is a uh, 5DX Purple Giles Cape hidden potential. So it's five slots clean. So it's potentially a good cape. And that's all I got. What about you guys? I passed my reverse Engar with one of those equipment enhancement scrolls. It was seventy percent, eighty percent. I passed. I got like, I think one attack and one dex, which is pretty good. Um, I six. I chaosed my reverse overall. That gave me some strength. Um, and I failed my cape. Hmm. That's pretty much it for me. How about you, Landon? Mm, I actually got a lot of different things this time around. Not right when I start my dual blade though. Okay, I got fucking. I got my Candine plus four for my uh, Chief Bandit that I deleted. I got sweet ass Deputy Star clean. Woo! Jesse, you gave me those. Nice six dex earrings. Um, and I got the only thing I really got myself was ten dex work gloves and a plus ten dex bathrobe. And that's it. Um, oh yeah, I got these earrings, eight dex, uh, but it was potential. Eight dex potential. Pretty good. Yeah, we've seen a lot of these like hidden potential deck stuff which is okay but you know it's that kind of hidden potential stuff isn't that rare it's pretty common so prices will be going down like we explained earlier but uh, those um, are some pretty good things Landon all you need is a good bathrobe good to go did you guys talk about the increase of weapon drops and scroll drops no, I'm pretty sure it's only equipment, it's not scrolls. Um, no, no, it's it's scrolls. I got so many scrolls oh. when I was grinding, and I was no, for a few I'm, hours. I don't think so, man, because, like, I haven't got any scrolls. I think it's just equipment mm -hmm. because of the potential. Because yeah. it'll drop um, a bunch of regular things, and then once in a blue moon, it'll drop something with hidden potential. So I'm pretty sure it's just equipment, but yeah. I don't think there's... Right. Any way to confirm it? it yeah, because like equipment, it dropped by like what? It used to be three hundred thousand for say an overall, and now it's thirty thousand. So it kind of sucks. Yeah, they nerfed the NPC rates. Yeah, I think they should nerf it. How much they sell it for? If they, because it's gonna be kind of hard for new people to start. They buy something from the store and then they sell it for like a tenth of like the price. I don't think it's that fair, so I think they should nerf the NPC selling stuff. Well, the price on the NPC yeah, items. Yeah, it's true. I don't think many people even buy the equipment from NPCs anyways. I did when I started MapleStory. I always think of the new newcomers. Yeah. Fuck I always newcomers. try to help them out. I mean, we love newcomers. I think that now with this 10% increase in drops for equipment, people can actually train to get their equipment instead of like buying all of them. Mm. I think it might be a bit more than 10%. Ten, ten I've only I've read 10% everywhere so far. I haven't heard any other mm. rates. Yeah, for like 8 mil. Yeah. Um all right. Yes. So Landon, why don't you start talking about the mechanic class because I haven't really watched any videos or anything. So, you guys will have to cover that because I'm not that excited for it. Alright. <laughs> okay, uh, fucking. First of all, Spaddle's blog if you fucking want to read about mechanic class and all that shit. Better than we can talk about it. But, 
it is confirmed a pirate uh, class, subclass, uh, adventurer, and you do summon a robot, and your robot attacks for you while you ride on the robot. Adventure, resistance, same shit, whatever. No, it's totally different. They get their own island, they get, like, eldest. Well, thanks for interrupting me for your bullshit. May I continue? <laughs> yes. I was done anyways, go on. Um, yeah, I'm super <laughs> with them. They get, like, super awesome mobility stuff, skills. They get, like, this thing where you can jump as high as you want with, like, no limit until you use, lose all your MP. Um, I think they are awesome, and they don't use any bullets. I don't know if you have to, if the bullet in your inventory increase, increases the attack or not, but yeah. Oh yeah, clarification, um, they are, they use guns, like you have to equip your gun to your uh, main character, but you don't need bullets. And they have some pretty weird looking skills, but they're not what I was hoping for, like, in the early podcast, everybody could probably hear me like hyping about the mechanics, but what I'm seeing so far, they're not that great looking anymore. I think they're like. I mean, they got stuff. they got this cool like special thing that I haven't seen from any class before. They summon like a little robots, droids that do their bidding, like a healing one, like a teleporting one, and then like one that attacks for you. Yeah, I think they're ten times better than what I expected. I thought they would be just like some kind of newbie class kind of I'm not I wasn't really excited for them. But after I saw them I was like, I'm not gonna make a battle mage anymore. Mechanic all the way. They just look like another Raven job to me. I don't get why people say that. You you're not standing beside your robot and your yeah, fucking right. but it's like dragon is attacking. Else to do the training for you. Like that mechanic of it. No man, it's still you. You like turn into the robot, basically. Yeah. Like the robot, you control it. The robot's head is your face. I I love my Evan. I don't see what's wrong with them. Lots. Yeah, but what's wrong with Evans? I made mine. He's like level fifty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just uh, hate Evans with a passion. How can you get an Evan to level fifty, but you can't get a dual blade to level fifty? Well, it's 31. Two blades are a lot more fun than Evans. I tried an Evan, and it was boring as shit. I just yeah, I, I couldn't even get to level 30. Yeah, I didn't even get to level 30 at all. Can do it, man. Couldn't find it in my heart and soul to do it. <laughs> they're they're not that bad, but then at like level 50, you get so many skills and you don't know where to place them on your keyboard so I just like quit <laughs> yeah it's kinda like dual blades there's a lot of things I don't have a I need an extra hand for yeah. this shit especially playing with a controller um uh Nexon did a press conference on their big bang patch thing and they said the mechanic was gonna be the last job uh like, that's not legend. Like, after mechanic, they're gonna finish up the legends. There are so many classes. I swear, like, mechanic, mechanic, um, Wild Hunter and Battle Mage are in a group called Resistance. Yes, they are. Doesn't mean they're legends. Yeah, legends are just Aaron's and Evans. Yeah, so we still need to see a Thief Legend, a Bowman Legend, and a, a Pirate Legend. Yeah, that makes me concerned, seeing how Dual Blade is, like, insanely awesome. The Legend is gonna have to be, like, actually legendary. Yeah, um, did you know that, uh, ne that Next in Japan made a special starting place for Dual Bladers? It looks awesome, I, th I hope we get it. It's a really nice what? place. Yeah, next on Japan has like its own uh, dual blade starting place. They developed them themselves. Why would you care? You don't make a dual blade. Yeah, but it'd be cool because I would like play it. 
I'm to level 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make a new one. Well, we'll probably s we'll see new places for legends because Aaron got Rhine, and so we'll see new places. And e actually, Evan's got Hennessy, but they did get like a new area, so who knows? Yeah, I think they're gonna expand Maple World like even bigger. You, s you see that like Eldestein place? I think that's how you pronounce it or how you spell it. I don't even know. Um, Eldestein. Eldest. Okay. Uh, you can see that it's just a part of a continent, so I think they're gonna expand on that. I also think that there should be more maps in like um, Elnath and all those other places. Because it, it's a big continent, but like little maps. Well, there's going to be a lot of changes. <laughs> True, big bang. Big bang. I guess we'll have to just have to wait and see. Only one way to mm, Speaking of big bang. Are you just farting? Um. <laughs> Uh, the Spedo said, I don't know if you should believe him or not, but that there is going to be an improved guild system coming out for KMS. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, Amen. I really want to know what it is. Praise the Lord. I've been wanting something like this for a while. We still need the details, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard about something a while ago. It's like family for your guild, kind of. A family system for your guild. Oh. And you can get like, mm. test buffs and stuff like that. See, I don't want that. I want guild managed stuff. Like management tools. They should have, like, Let's all together. not trust Ali's information. If you got this information a while ago, it's probably 100% fake. Well, it was on Maple Wiki. Well, yeah, that could be edited by anybody. Yeah, it's Wikipedia. No, I. Oh, you guys should just, like. <laughs> Do you believe everything you hear Whatever. on the internet? Not everything. Read. Well, all I'm gonna say is that I don't want Not a everything. fucking guild system like the family system. I want management. Yeah, but what tools. else can they add? Management tools, man. Yeah, Maybe but like a what? better BBS. What kind of management? Maybe a, an ability yeah, to add man. more than one notice in the BBS. An ability for custom True. ranks with custom permissions, like more than one announcement at the top scrolling like uh an announcement that time that goes on every five minutes or ten minutes or half an hour or whatever shit like that that's what i want okay maybe they listen to all the people and sleepy wooden shit they say guild housing and stuff because i think that's a fucking awesome idea yeah guild housing would be pretty cool yeah it's just like a map where you can go kick it with your guild members and like rape the one girl that's in the guild and the one girl <laughs> and the boy. Dirty. That's how I roll, man. Prescott. So, um, I think that's about it. Uh I tried to make this one short, but it actually turned out about average. My cast uh go soon here, so anything else do you guys want to add? Before we, yeah, sir. I leveled up. Great. Star. Fuck Starcraft. 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 Starcraft is Starcraft one. Starcraft two. Starcraft one. No, it's not. Yeah, man. Starcraft two is like an edited version of Starcraft one. It's yeah, like it has better graphics, um, but what's the difference have... gameplay wise? Yeah, they added. They balanced all the classes like differently. Um. Yeah, it, it's a lot more. F it's super fun. Is that I've it? been playing it for about 24 hours since it came out, or maybe more. I've been playing it all day s when, since it came out. I've just sat on it for over 24 hours, and then, then, like today, I was playing it for great, like <laughs> super long. My eyes are red. Are there any more units? Like, are the mechanics different? Yeah, it's quite different. What different units do you get? I don't know. I haven't really played StarCraft 1 a lot. How can you be so excited for StarCraft that's how many. 2 and then you never played StarCraft 1 at all? I have played StarCraft 1. I just haven't got into it like super 
Super. Well, I maintain that StarCraft 2 is just StarCraft 1 with better okay. graphics. Yeah, they didn't add a new alien race or anything like that. No, it's still Protoss. Sorry, again. Then it's not a new game. Okay. I think I'll still it's play it though. Though. Officially. So each game has to have a new class and it comes out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Landon's quote. You can quote me on that. <laughs> well, I think to make it, to call it StarCraft 2, they should at least make it, like, add something new. Even, like, well, they have, like, class. new. They have a new single player. Does that count? Would you have to buy again three times? I mean, the campaign. Yeah, campaign. I've only yeah, so one map. <laughs> you'd probably just download the campaign and port it into StarCraft 1. I don't think anyone plays the campaign as much as multiplayer. And in my opinion is biased it. anyways because I haven't played it, so don't listen to me. I've played one level in the campaign. And then I quit because it was so boring <laughs> and I went on multiplayer. But each game lasts for like an hour or more. Pretty crazy. Okay, well since we're on the topic of Blizzard games, just want to say Warcraft, World of Warcraft sucks balls. But also Diablo 3. What up? Yeah, I'm excited for that. I really want in the beta. Speaking of betas, I am in Vindictus beta, so I'll tell you guys how it is. I wish it's gonna be like APV or something, isn't it? <laughs> I have a feeling it will, but you know, I hope not. It just looks like one of those like other games that you get for free. Well, the thing that puts this really bad free games. The Source Engine. I'm really excited to see how that plays out in an MMO. And it's like party based, so there's a lot of like questing you can do with your parties. So like a uh, alien, alien swarm. Yeah, yeah, count alien swarm is fun. Fucking free too, so make a Steam account and get it for free. So yes. Um Alright, so I apologize for the short podcast. This is kinda late in the week to do it. But if you're getting this from iTunes, don't forget to rate us. Don't forget to sub subscribe and leave a review. We appreciate it. Uh speaking of I wanted to do a new section called Review of the Week. And uh, if you two just want to talk about something, I'll pull up the review that I chose. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about coming in late. I was doing something. Boy, oh, yeah, you were playing with your iPod. iPhone correction. Yeah, yeah. Same difference. <laughs> Guess you're just jealous. All the chicks dig my iPhone. And me. <laughs> Trust me, baby. You see that? You realize the people that talk about themselves like that are uh, unequipped. If you catch my drift. Uh, so now you're saying that I have low damage. I have low I'm saying damage. you have a tiny penis. Oh, okay. Or a vagina. Maybe it's both. Ooh, a hermaphrodite. I'm liking that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga is sexy. <laughs> Ellie, are you just like the king of everything that is unpopular or something? <laughs> she looks like a scab, man. Lady Gaga is popular. Oh, look at you, mainstream. I love Lady Gaga, even though I can't name one of her songs. Lady Gaga for life. And Justin Bieber. No. Baby, 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 oh, like... Don't baby, do that in a podcast. Baby, oh. Yeah, but I fucking talked it. about Trust this. Me. Trust me, man. Okay, let's see the reviews. Because I have my little short clip of... 
of me singing Justin Bieber. I'll just edit it out and put I'm gay in it. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't do that to you, man. Not cool, dude. Alright, cool. So, yeah, Justin Bieber. Latin, have you tried any of the potential stuff? Nope. What about uh, the peanut machine stuff? What can you get from that, by the way? I don't even know. You can get chair. And you can get coins out. that you can trade in for like 200 mil. Hey, you guys want to do an experiment right now? I could go buy a peanut machine. Do you have peanut? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this live. See me with my horrible luck live. Okay, I bought it. Good luck. Let's open. I'm dragging the peanut into the <laughs> hole. <laughs> That's what she said. And I'm clicking it. Oh, drum roll. <laughs> well, I gotta make a room and wave to it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, it should be like something, an O or something. Okay, reopening the peanut machine. Peanut is inside. I cl clicking it. Drum roll again. <laughs> oh. Okay, check this. I got a dark scroll for earring intelligence, thirty percent, and pink bear hot air balloon mount. Dude, you're so lucky. Ten days, right? Oh my god. I don't need oh either of those. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that. That scroll's actually not that bad. So you're lucky there. Alright. amount's not that bad. So, uh, we're gonna close this podcast up. Okay. <laughs> uh, just to let everybody know, once you buy the pinwheel machine and use it, it gets disappeared. Fuck. It's like 1.4k, 1. 1.4k, 1. isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so we will close this podcast off with the review of the week and I'll read it now this is by Sexy Carl the title is amazing and it has five stars and Sexy Carl says this podcast is honestly very well done I used to listen to Aqua Road Radio but so far they've pretty much stopped I like this podcast even more because it is so up to date and you guys seem to be of the younger audience which is also pretty cool I'm definitely going to try to get more people to watch this so you guys keep it going and that's a review by Sexy Carl. Thank you. Thank you, Sexy Carl. By the way, um, Jesse is 13 years old. Yes, I am 13 years old. I love Pokemon. Don't just fuck. Don't just Pokemon, man. Pikachu. <laughs> that's my best Pikachu. Anyways, this is time to choose, or this is formally time to choose now, Jakura. Signing out for a bit podcast. You guys make your exit now. This is Cardia Liff logging out of Eight Bit Podcast. I love you, Eight Bit. And Mike went to Jeff, so he loves it in the butt. All right, peace, guys. Beep.